in this video we want to go ahead and add a select option here for a category so let's go ahead and make that make it we don't have to make it required but what we want to go ahead and do is we want to hook up a relationship here which is going to be categories and let's check out category resource in here we have it as title so let's go ahead and get category title so let's go ahead and see how that looks all right so it seems like we did this incorrectly so let's go ahead and say inside our article model we have a categories relationship but at the moment it doesn't actually I think know that it's the articles that we are referring to here so I think essentially we have to do this a different way where we retrieve the categories for the article so let's go ahead and figure that out now so if we go ahead and get rid of this relationship and it says say options then we want to go category plug and in this case it's going to be title and ID so if we go in now you should be able to basically put in a category here so that means you only want to show from this category in this case for example and what we should be able to do then is go in and say where category is going to be data category and then I think actually we, we shouldn't do our category so let's go ahead and fix that sorry so what we need to do here is first and foremost let's go ahead and add this onto a new line and let's say with and in this case categories and also make sure you add the multiple option up here so that we can go ahead and select more than one category if need be and then let's go in here now and say where has categories function query use data and then we just say query in this case we say where in so let's go ahead and just add that properly we cast this to array to make sure that it's going through as an array and we will do the same up here as well so um, down here sorry for this one So let's go ahead and go to wire content test admin let's go back in here and I want to go ahead and say sorted by most popular and have to test one again There we go, that's fine. And let's have the other category sorted by as well. And again, there's only one category set in the articles page, so let's go ahead and sort that out. In here, we need to have a category for test. And it doesn't seem to save, so that's a. Uh, bit of a weird issue there so let's go ahead and debug that now
The reason why it's not saving, let's take a look at that now. First. So the reason why it's not saving is because inside article resource pages edit article, we added this notification custom thing. So we need to say parent save. We also need to go into our article resource and allow multiple in here for the category. And then if we go in now, you can see if I go ahead and get rid of some text in the test article here, you can see that it actually saves it now. And the same goes in here, so let's take a look. Not actually the previous, sorry, let's take a look in here. We allow test apparent. So let's go in and make sure that we have one in here, which is going to be parent. And this has some test in here. And also, what I want to go ahead and make sure of is that inside our article resource, we can go ahead and essentially and say preload the category so that they load before we load it so we don't have to wait for it. So if you go in now, you can see that it loads. And this is without category, that's fine. So let's go ahead and preview it now. Okay, so this looks a bit off, but we can fix that in the next video. That may be because of the way that it's displaying the different categories, maybe, but we will figure that out in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.